word from Hello World. This is Mona, your Unity teacher from the Hell. Today, I will talk about the texture generating AI Polyhive. I tried it out, and the result was interesting enough to share. Polyhive is on one of the Unity's verified AI solutions. With Polyhive, you can generate textures for your 3D models and also create some animations. So I created an account on Polyhive, downloaded the asset from the Unity Asset Store, set the API key, and opened the sample scene. Here in Unity, when the API key is installed, you can write your prompt directly from Unity, which I don't recommend because then I cannot choose the preview of the wizard. So I wanted to have a pink magic hammer with LEDs in many different colors and a huge pink gem shaped like a heart because I like the portable fan I bought a while ago. After waiting a while, I got the result. I wanted to sell Unity. And it was interesting enough to make me laugh. Then I wanted to have something more interesting, so I brought the 3D chest model that I made a while ago. Then I wrote the prompt. I want to have a night chest piece made out of ivory for the horse part and, and black marble for the stand. On the stand, there is a carf named that says Mono. After waiting forever, I got some interesting previews, which is the reason I recommend uploading your model to website and using it there. I could see the 2D preview of the complete texture and I could get other wizard if I wanted, and that didn't consume the points I had. So I chose one interesting design and I could see a prompt for the texture. Generate an image of the night chest piece crafted with intricate detail. The horse part is delicately carved with beautiful ivory, displaying the graceful carves and elegance of the real horse. Okay, this is quite different from what I wrote, but I'm happy with it. Then I press generate and wait a while. After a few minutes, I could see the finished result and I could download the wizard from the server. So those are the AI generated textures I made today. A pink jewel hammer and a fancy nut piece. So that was very interesting to play around with, even though it would take some time to write and find the right prompt. When you sign up, you get 200 points for free, and with them, you can generate eight textures as a trier. Afterwards, you need to pay a certain fee to subscribe. So today, I was trying out an AI texture generation tool called Polyhive. It was fun to play around with, and like many other AI generating wizards from prompt, I have to be very specific and precise about what I want, but it should be fine enough for quick wizard with decent quality. So that was my video for today. If you liked my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press like, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!